Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 84. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College of link, and you can download the workbook, Business 210, Chapter 8. Chapter 8, Confidence Intervals. We've been talking about sigma known, sigma not known. Sigma not known, we saw how to use the T inverse, but I want to show you how to use the descriptive statistics data analysis add-in. Now, I've already done all the calculations uh, with functions here. I have some dollar amounts over here. I've calculated the sample, mean, the sample mean, the sample standard deviation, and then the margin of error, and then I constructed my confidence uh, interval limits lower, upper. Now I want to show you how to do that, um, those same calculations, but uh, with the data analysis add-in. We'll go to data, data analysis. You got to watch a video, I think number eight in this series to see how to add this in if you don't have it. Click on it, and we want descriptive statistics. Click OK. I'm going to say the range, whoa, it looks like it already got, I don't know, it has the wrong range, so I'm going to highlight this right here. It is in a column. It does have a label in the first row. My output range definitely, oh, look at that. It almost got it right. I'll put it right there. Uh, summary statistics and confidence level for mean. That's what we're doing here, confidence level. And let's see, we're going to do 95. So we'll keep it at 95 and then click OK. Now, I We'll expand that column right there so we can uh, see it. Notice I put in red, the mean is 90, 49.35, so got that. The standard error, 20, where's the standard error? Um, right there. No, no, no. Uh, I'm not even, oh, I didn't calculate. I calculated inside of, of this right here, but actually we could see the standard error right there. If we highlight it and hit the F9 key, that's 2.015. So it got uh, that one right there. The, what it did count, calculate is this right here. Con and it says confidence level, but that is the margin of error. So when you do data analysis, analysis descriptive statistics, that confidence interval, boom, that's margin of error. And there was our margin of error right there. That's rounded with formatting, not with the, the round function. So there it is. That number right there. Oh, I still didn't find that one. Where's the sample standard DVA? Oh, right there. So those numbers come out automatically. And then, of course, you could build from your, you have the uh, upper and lower. So the confidence uh, limits would be whatever the mean is. This is for the upper, so it's plus the margin of error. Enter, and then equals that same mean minus that margin of error, 45. So we got 53 and 45, the same as we got up here uh, f uh, doing it with functions. Now on the test, I might ask you both of them, so you do, do not ha have to do them uh, both ways. But if you're doing this all the time on static data, boy, is that a nice uh, feature. All right. Data analysis add in descriptive statistics for confidence intervals. Actually, one other important thing, I can't believe I almost forgot it. Uh, and I alluded to this earlier. Uh, let's say we've calculated our interval, right? And let's someone, someone makes a claim that uh, the average price is 50 bucks, and that claim uh, is in an advertisement or something like that. So we go out and do some sample data, and we get our intervals, right? Is this person's claim of 50 bucks, which is assumed to be the population mean when they make a claim like that, is that within our interval? Yeah, it is. So it would be reasonable. Their claim would be reasonable. Now let's say they claim the um, average price was 60 bucks, right? And so you need to go out and do some sampling, some statistics to see if their statement is reasonable or not. Is that 60 bucks within this interval? No, in fact, it's way out. And we did 95. We might try 99 and see what would happen there. In fact, this is why you do formulas. Watch this, 0.99. It instantly updates. That's why you do formulas. Uh, this over here didn't update. But again, if you're using static data, isn't that beautiful? Look at that, 99. And oftentimes, you do want to do what if analysis like this when you're doing statistics. Now, is that 60 bucks in this interval? It's not. 
So that claim would not be reasonable, and I have some uh, written statements down here about that. That is a preview of uh, Chapter 9. That's what you do. That's what's so cool about statistics. You take someone's claim, you go out and do some uh, responsible uh, statistics, and uh, then you can make statements like, that doesn't see re reasonable. You never say anything like, that is not the population mean. You say things like, it seems unreasonable given our sample statistics that this would be in uh, our interval, or within our risk level, uh, this doesn't seem reasonable. You could say something like that. All right, uh, uh, coming up, we got to do proportions uh, with confidence uh, intervals. See you next video.